Hello and welcome to your weekend predictions reading. Let's go ahead and see what messages there are for us today. All right, we have again. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? True love and harmony. What is going on? I've been getting this one for like nearly everyone today. That's crazy. And I literally try and avoid it. All right. So we've got true love and harmony. Some of you are going to find love or have love around you. How nice is that? Ooh, Z. And it means sun, strength and success. Or maybe it's an S. Okay, true love, harmony, strength, success. So this is a good love. All right. And next one, we have fertility and growth. So this is about a love that will be successful, that is very happy with that sun vibe, and it's going to develop and grow really nicely. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and see what your tarot messages are for today and stay tuned for your lucky numbers and more. If you have a favorite segment on my channel, you can always check the description box below and hit the timestamp of your favorite. Now let's have a look what messages there are for you today. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Feminine could also be the Feminine is doing a lot of research. She's finding things out. She's discovering things and she's retaining the information for her own use, for whatever she needs it for. Could also be for some of you that if you're the Feminine or if you have a Feminine around you, she has recently been separated or divorced just saying for some of you this is a celebration queen of swords is having a celebration three of cups is mercury which is all about self-expression creative self-expression and uh communications about something that we've been investing in okay maybe even saving um because seven of pentacles is about putting away because we're investing, we're waiting for our um, hard work, our labors to pay pay off. Okay, so Seven of um, Pentacles is really also a very good patient card. Celebrating something that maybe has paid off. Uh, you've got a work card here with Eight of Pentacles. It's all about we've been working really hard. We're really, really good at what we're doing too. Okay, Eight of Pentacles is like I'm really good at what I do and very guild, skill, guild. <laughs> skilled and gifted. All right, this could be a workplace Um workplace work party or something getting getting out with the with work colleagues for some of you because it's work and going out talking about something um the moon could be a pisces around you the moon is also about something that is a bit blurred okay we may not know the progress of this seven of pentacles like what's happened with my investments i just don't know it's in a bit of a haze right now or my hard work that I've been doing, is it paying off? King of Pentacles, the master of finances, he's the pay man, he's the money man, okay? Could be an earth sign masculine, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles, they're right next to each other, so they are in each other's life. They could be business associates or friends or even partners now you've got the work card that connects them they may work together or may be working in the same industry they both may be very good at what they do and they might be meeting up for a couple of drinks or to talk about something about a lot of money ten of pentacles long-term financial security for the long term like i'm talking uh grandkids 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 <laughs> you know what i mean like this is an inheritance type thing it's like from long time ago or a heritage situation ten of pentacles um so celebrating this uh windfall perhaps that you've worked for the king and queen 
All right, we're just not sure what's happening with our investments here, uh, but we're going to hold on to it, what we've been putting away or what we've been doing. We, we may still continue to do so with Four of Pentacles. Okay, we've worked really hard, maybe even overworked, maybe someone is a workaholic. We've worked really hard for this Ten of Pentacles. The King and Queen have worked hard. For this ten of pentacles maybe they're both very hard workers but they're celebrating the ten pentacles so uh and they're very very um well known okay six of wands is uh very celebrated you know people look up to the these people the king and queen they look up to them they think they're amazing because they've done such a good job they're doing so well in life Death, Scorpio energy, death is also some kind of transition that comes in, some kind of change, and we're feeling really sad about it. Ten of Swords is like an awakening. It's really saying that somebody is going through a situation that, with the Death card, Ten of Swords and Five of Cups, it, it's literally grief over a tragic ending of some sort. Hangman Pisces energy. So Hangman is telling me that something is in limbo, uh, but we're starting fresh and we're letting bygones be bygones. We're moving on to a new love. Um, the King of Cups could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine. So this queen, she may actually be someone that has been working hard with the King of Pentacles. Um, there may be a separation or a situation where they're both moving on from each other and the queen has come up to a King of Cups uh, who is wanting to pursue her um, and he may be in lack feeling his hands are tied because of the heartache and five of swords that has been experienced uh, and this is creating imbalance he's finding out so this queen of swords is finding out that he's also gone through heartache in his own past so they've got a very similar past okay they've both been through heartache and grief uh, and she's finding out that he's gone through it so he's still trying to balance his life out before he can move on to some a new relationship so both the queen and the king of cups are both going through uh, similar experiences actually and trying to deal with life in general and to move on from the grief of a separation or a breakup okay so but at least we know that they've got each other they're just at that point where they're in each other's experience they're both trying to move through some sadness and grief from their past and um, they're just at that point where they're they're in each other's life but they don't exactly know exactly where this is going to go yet all right let's go ahead and see what your lucky numbers are for today what are the lucky numbers for today okay try and guess them before i unfold them so far you guys have been really psychic and knowing what the numbers are also, um, some of you have been writing that the numbers are birth dates and, you know, the, the age of your love or something like that. Let me know how this resonates with you. I guess this is a three. What do you guess? All right. Oh, uh, what? It is a three. That's crazy. All right. So did you guess three, two? That's amazing. I love it when I guess. I have been guessing at least one today. So through my readings today, that's it. Now let's go ahead and see this number. What do you think it is? I think it's a nine. Try and guess. See if you get it right. And if you do, comment below. I'm interested. It's a four. Did you guess four? It could be 34, some of you might be 34 or 43, 
could also be the fourth of the third or the third of the fourth. Three and four is seven. Now let's see one more. All right, this one. I guess this is a five. What do you think it is? Let me know if you get it right. All right. It's a nine. Wow. So we have seven and nine is 16. So one six is... You know, this could be um, 39 or 49 for some of you. All right. So we've got 3, 4 is 7 and 9 is 16. 1, 6 is 7. So 7 is our lucky number. Is that your lucky number? What has been your number synchronicities? And do you even believe? In synchronicity signs from the universe. All right, let's have a look at your gypsy oracle for today. What messages are there? What messages? Ooh, wife. How interesting. Wife could be you are the wife, or if you're the masculine, you have a wife could also be about you wanting someone to be your wife if you're the feminine maybe you've met someone and you think they're perfect husband material that is the wife energy reunion it's like wanting to see someone again or wanting to reunite okay uh, it's an offer. Someone is going to offer a reunion. They want to see you again because they're in despair. Um, because somebody has a rigid ways of thinking and they want to be happy again. Okay, through misfortune. And they're waiting for the wedding. Oh my God. A uh, young woman. Enemy could be a third party. Young woman and soldier uh, is enemy. She may be fighting for something. Okay, just for some of you, just saying. Um, and it's getting someone down, making someone feel really down because they're thinking of a letter or writing a letter um, that they're held back. They're not going to reach out. They're not going to do anything because they're loyal okay to the third party or you know maybe they want the third party to end in some cases uh because wow somebody is very um submissive to um someone is very submissive to the progress of something let me see work Someone is stuck with work and they can't really go anywhere or do anything. A sweetheart might also be overseas, okay, for some of you because imports, exports with a merchant. And it looks like that servant is somebody that is very submissive to the foe, to the challenge. Um, and the ending is in progress. Someone could be getting a separation or divorce here. Okay, um, very personal messages. It might not be your story because it looks like it is very personal. I'm trying to keep it as a general reading, but I can't because it just the messages are just coming out this personal. And the the young woman is or a young maybe they're having like disputes about child support or so, child custody or something like that. It just looks that that specific. So. Let me know if that is your story, but someone wants to reunite and the other person probably just wants to move on. That's what it looks like. All right, let me know what this means and let's have a look at your personalized messages. See, I give room for the really ultra personal messages with these cards. You can't find love till you let them go. That is so specific. It's pretty much a theme of this, this reading. You can't let them go. When you say nothing at all, you say so much because energy. 
Um, it's literally, you know, we connect on so many different wavelengths that, you know, we don't even understand. So when you say nothing at all, they actually pick up your energy anyway or, you know, vice versa. Oh, literally trust your intuition. So there you go, trust your intuition with what you're not hearing, what's not being said. Trust your intuition. How am I supposed to live without you? I feel that's the person that wants to come back. You work too hard, take some time out. And guess what? It said that that there's a couple here that work really hard. They're really unsettled about it all. Yes, that was showing up. A windfall comes. Yes, that was showing up in the reading too. With the Ten of Pentacles, you are my heaven. I've been hurt too many times. Yes, somebody's that came out in the reading too. This is a past life soul connection. And I'll get one more and I'll be really random about it. All right. Let's see. I'll just stop anywhere. Unforeseen delays and setbacks reveal a longer wait period. When I see a car like yours, my heart skips a beat. There may be delays in regards to something, but somebody freaks out every time they see a car like yours because they think that it's you and they just feel amazing. Like, I can't believe it. I really want to see you vibe. All right. Let me know how this resonates and what it means to you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I send you love. Peace and light. Bye for now.